We've talked about it for a long time, and now it's here. And one of the special treats was the fact that Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas came to first. Not only is he coming here to observe, but he's got a special surprise for all of those participants in FIRST Robotics. But then he had some nice things to say about science, technology, and FIRST. I'm here at FIRST um, for three reasons. One, to be inspired. These kids are, you know, it gives me hope about America seeing these kids. You know, I just recently watched Waiting for Superman and that just depressed me, the state of uh, America and youth and education. And right around the same time that I watched Waiting for Superman, a documentary that I, you know, I encourage every American to see, right around the same time I watched that, I met Dean Kamen. And, uh, and he told me about his U.S. FIRST program that he has in uh, schools across America. And then I met some of the kids that are part of U.S. FIRST. And then when we performed on the Super Bowl, our outfits, the computers that, that, that lit up our outfits, one of the guys, one of the programmers was a, was a graduating student that graduated from Camden that was a part of U.S. FIRST. So it just totally just lit up my world. Um, I was at Dean's house for the kickoff, and uh, I wouldn't miss this for the world being here at the, uh, the U.S. FIRST Robotics Championship. Who gave you that pin and what does it signify? Oh, right here, this is uh, my first pin. <laughs> oh, who gave it to me? <laughs> Dean Cameron gave it to me. Um, a bunch of deck of book. I got a big deck of book. I'm like a big Dean Cameron fan. I don't <laughs> think you understand. <laughs> So my mom is, uh, she's on an airplane. She's um, on her way here. And uh, when I was uh, in New Hampshire with Dean at his house for the kickoff, he asked me, you know, you know, well, every, uh, every year my, my mom, she gives out scholarships to the kids. And if my mom and your mom can get together on stage and give out scholarships, that would, you know, just light up my world. So I called my mom on the phone, like, yo, mom, Dean Kamen's mom is passing out scholarships during the U.S. FIRST Robotics Competition. Would you be interested in doing so? So Dean Kamen's mom and my mom were on the phone talking about the importance of it. So it's the first time my mom's going to be uh, on stage in front of a whole bunch of people. So now she gets to see how nerve-wracking it is. <laughs> Did you get a chance to walk around and meet some of the uh, students in competition today? Um, I saw the grounds. I didn't want to interrupt the competition, so I, I saw it from a distance. I hung out with some of the kids uh, three days ago. Uh, they helped me build a robot, so I built a robot three days ago. Wait a minute. You built a robot? I built a robot three days ago. Um, three kids, 13, 15, and 16. Let me tell you something. I've seen a lot of adults say, you know, I need to go back to college. When they feel they, they've, they've missed out on some new technology or new perspective on life. Now you have to say, wait a minute, I gotta go back to junior high school because these kids, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, these kids were just like, oh my gosh, it just lit up my world seeing these kids. Um, showed me his co the code that he wrote on his computer. I'm like, you wrote the this code? He was like, yeah, let me show you. you know, I was like, wow. A 15, 16 year old writing code, building robots. You know, it just, it's one thing to see a kid in college doing it, but to see 13 year olds, 14 year olds, 15 year olds, 16 year olds writing code, building robots, enthusiastic about, you know, life, mathematics, science, and engineering. That's our leaders. 20 years from now, those are the leaders of industry, these kids. Man, just blew my mind. And I, 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 it was the best week, the best three days I ever spent in a long time with these kids building a robot. I've done a lot of things. I've played the Super Bowl, did the World Cup, did a lot of things. Been to Rome, Italy, Brazil. I've been a lot of places. But spending time with those kids building robots just ignited my whole life. 
I think there's a uh, there's a big void, there's a big gap in, in American culture right now where when it comes to science, they don't look at it as cool, but yet things that are that come from science are cool. Right? Everybody waits in line to get the new iPod or iPhone or iPad. That that takes science to be able to do that. Code. Everybody goes on Google and Twitter. It takes science to, to, to be able to configure that. The servers, the satellites, it takes science. Everybody uh, gets on an airplane. It takes science, robotics, and engineering to be able to travel from here to Spain or travel around the world. So it's important that we shine a light on science being cool so that kids you know, when you ask a 15-year-old, what do you want to do when you grow up? They don't say, you know, I want to be an actor, I want to be a musician. They want to say, you want them to say, I want to be like Dean Kamen. I want to be a, sci I want to be a scientist. I want to be an engineer. I want to build robots. I want to work at Boeing. I want to work at, you know, the D DOD. I want to, you know, because that's what we need. America needs it. So that's what I want to do. I'm not saying, I'm not a scientist, but I see the void that needs to be filled and in popular culture. And that is to go out and inspire these kids to be, you know, to make an effort to be dedicated in school because look at what comes out of it, right? Yes, being an entertainer gets you millions. You know what's cooler than a million? A billion. You know who's a billionaire? <laughs> these people that have these big, huge companies around science and robotics, right? Mark Zuckerberg is cool. He wrote the code. I'm just on Facebook. <laughs> Are you technical? I mean, you gadget kind of guy. Um, I'm a gadget fan. Um, I don't write code, but I'm. Uh, I just love gadgets. I love computers. I work with computers. I make my music on computers. Um, so yes, I love gadgets. I'm the dude that goes out and gets the new iPhone after I bought the last iPhone. I'm the guy that goes out and uh, gets a computer, making sure that it has enough RAM and the right chips in it for me to make the music I make. So to that point, I'm a gadget fanatic. But knowing that you know there's experts around gadgets that might look at me like, well, what do you know? I know what I like. And I know what needs to be done in America as far as changing that huge gap when, as, when it comes to popular culture and their, you know, their imagination, their excitement around gadgets, technology, science, and engineering. For the St. Louis Science Center, at first, I'm Al Wyman.